If the red supergiant star Betelgeuse were to explode right now, we would witness the spectacle of the millennium. The sky would be on fire, and the night would be as bright as day. Betelgeuse is about to explode. That much is certain. However, scientists are not in complete agreement as to whether shortly means tomorrow or in a thousand years. It's also possible that Betelgeuse has already exploded and we haven't even noticed it yet. A supernova explosion occurs in our Milky Way about every 50 years. However, supernovae visible from Earth only occur once every 1,000 years. Betelgeuse, which is about 640 light years away from Earth, will be a Type II supernova, and they are particularly spectacular during the day. The explosion of Betelgeuse would dramatically change the brightness of the sky. Although the sun dominates the sky, the supernova would be so bright that it would be visible even in daylight. The brightness would briefly blind drivers and pilots, similar to a sudden flash of lightning. Caution would be advised, especially at dawn or dusk when the sun is lower and the brightness of Betelgeuse hits people's eyes abruptly. This extremely bright flash would only shine for a moment, then we would see a bright spot of light that would appear like a new, extremely bright star. However, no sound would be audible, as sound waves do not travel through the vacuum of space. At night, the explosion would appear even more spectacular. For a moment, everything would be illuminated, and then we would suddenly see a new, extremely bright point in the night sky that would shine brighter than Venus and Neptune. This new source of light would probably be as bright as the full moon and could bathe the night landscape in a wonderful light for weeks. We would probably not see the stars near Betelgeuse during this time, as the intense light from Betelgeuse would simply outshine them. While it's certain that Betelgeuse will explode, it is still uncertain when it will explode. Astronomers around the world are keeping the star under constant observation, and even some satellites are pointed at Betelgeuse around the clock. Every change, no matter how small, is registered immediately. When the supernova alarm goes off, astronomers and amateur stargazers will immediately point their telescopes at the event. Space telescopes such as the Hubble Space Telescope or the James Webb Space Telescope would take detailed pictures. The observatory's measuring instruments would register an enormous increase in brightness across the globe, accompanied by an increase in gamma rays and X-rays. Radio telescopes will detect drastic changes in the radio wave range on this very special day, and the gravitational wave sensors, which register even the finest changes in the cosmos, would very probably indicate the explosion even before we can see it. Gravitational waves are tiny changes in the gravitational fabric of the cosmos. All events in the universe in which matter is in motion generate gravitational waves. In addition to gravitational waves, unusually high neutrino currents would very probably reach us. The world's best neutrino detectors in the Arctic and Antarctic would very likely also be among the first to register the supernova. What happens after the explosion? One thing is certain. Betelgeuse will disperse incredible amounts of matter and energy into space. The components of the star will spread across the galaxy over billions of kilometers and light years. The blast wave from the explosion will have a significant impact on Betelgeuse's immediate surroundings. Yet the distances in the universe are so vast that it's uncertain whether neighboring stars will really suffer serious damage. Betelgeuse is the first red supergiant star to explode directly in our cosmic neighborhood, and it's the first time we can witness the spectacle with modern technology. It will be a surprise to be able to study the true scale of the explosion for weeks. Shortly after the explosion, Betelgeuse would remain visible as an extremely bright spot in the sky for weeks to months. Over time, the brightness would gradually diminish, meaning that we would no longer be able to see it with the naked eye, but astronomers will continue to observe any changes, however small, with their telescopes. After the end of Betelgeuse, an extremely compact remnant will remain, either a neutron star or a black hole. Betelgeuse may even form a spectacular cosmic nebula, such as the colorful crab nebula. That would, of course, be a very special spectacle. Such nebulae can exist for millions of years, meaning that old stars do not disappear completely but leave behind an object or black hole that offers us plenty of material for research. What did Betelgeuse look like in its earlier stages? About 10 million years ago, Betelgeuse was formed in a dense molecular cloud. This cloud of gas and dust consisted of materials traveling freely in the universe and also consisted of the remains of earlier supernovae. 
Betelgeuse was thus formed from the material of older stars. At some point, this cloud became so heavy that it began to collapse under its own gravity. A protostar initially formed within this cloud, which accumulated more and more mass until nuclear fusion was initiated. Betelgeuse was not alone. The young star was formed in a cosmic nursery full of newborn stars. This luminous and chaotic region may have resembled today's Orion Nebula. The environment of the star nursery was characterized by strong winds and high UV radiation. Betelgeuse was an extremely massive star from birth and was probably significantly brighter than its siblings. As a massive star, Betelgeuse had a shorter life expectancy than smaller stars. From the start, it used up its fuel supplies relatively quickly. In its core, hydrogen atoms fused to form helium, and in the process, the giant star released incredible amounts of energy. This phase lasted only a few million years, the blink of an eye in cosmic time. During this time, Betelgeuse was probably a blue supergiant, a thousand times hotter and brighter than the sun. In the middle of Betelgeuse's life, the hydrogen supply in the core was exhausted, and the star began to fuse helium into carbon and oxygen. It was precisely at this stage that Betelgeuse slowly began to expand into a red supergiant. Its brightness continued to increase, and it began to periodically lose large amounts of matter in the form of strong stellar winds. At that time, the red supergiant already had a diameter larger than the orbit of Mars around the Sun, and its bright red color fascinated people on Earth. An interesting question is how planets around Betelgeuse might have experienced this development. Similar to us, Betelgeuse could have gathered a colorful group of planets around it. Some experts consider it impossible that life could have existed there, as we currently assume that life needs billions of years to develop, and given Betelgeuse's short lifespan, this would be rather unlikely. Nevertheless, we can never rule it out because we lack comparative values, and we would probably be making a drastic mistake if we tried to transfer earthly conditions to other worlds. What is certain is that the planets around Betelgeuse became hotter and hotter as the star grew, and it gradually swallowed them up. If there had ever been life there, it would have been destroyed by the star's extreme radiation. Betelgeuse shatters in a fraction of a second. The magical thing about cosmic events like these is the incredible forces and time sequences we are dealing with. The upheavals in Betelgeuse's inner being alone are so enormous that we can hardly grasp them with our minds. When Betelgeuse had also used up the helium in its core, it began to fuse heavier elements. Carbon, neon, oxygen, and finally silicon, which fused to form iron. This process went faster and faster, and at the same time, each fusion stage produced less energy. As the heavy elements increased, Betelgeuse became heavier and heavier, and at some point it would collapse under its own gravity. Then, it will tear the enormous star apart in a fraction of a second, and all the remaining energy will be released suddenly. How close is Betelgeuse to exploding? The question on everyone's mind is when will it happen and will we see it? Betelgeuse is increasingly unstable, as all observations show. It is definitely in its final phase, but how long that will last is a mystery. Astronomers are using a variety of telescopes and technologies to observe Betelgeuse closely. In addition to the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope, the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope and the ALMA Telescope in the Atacama Desert take turns observing the star. These telescopes' analyses show us chemical compositions and changes in its brightness. Between the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020, the star's brightness decreased by around 25% which attracted worldwide attention and triggered speculation about the imminent supernova. However, after intensive investigations, astronomers concluded that the dimming was probably caused by a combination of different factors. A huge cloud of dust ejected from the star and large-scale convection cells on the star's surface, which were cooler than the rest of the star, obscured the star for weeks. Scientists also observed another, albeit less dramatic, dimming of Betelgeuse in 2024. This event is thought to be a direct aftereffect of the Great Obscuration of 2020. Although all of these phenomena can be explained, they show us how unstable the star is and they can be taken as important clues that Betelgeuse may soon explode or has already exploded. The crazy thing is that the star could have gone supernova long ago, even hundreds of years ago, but we won't see its light until 650 years later. 
Many people regularly look up at the Orion constellation because it is one of the most famous and impressive in the night sky. Betelgeuse glows reddish in the right shoulder of the mythical hunter, which is revered and mythologically significant in many cultures around the world. In Greek mythology, Orion is described as a mighty hunter who was loved by Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. His image in the sky symbolizes strength, courage, and a thirst for adventure. Betelgeuse, with its striking red color, has always held a special fascination and inspired many stories about gods and heroes. When Betelgeuse explodes, Orion will be changed forever. The bright star that once watched over us as a protective star will be replaced by a glowing supernova and eventually darkness. It is an emotional thought that this familiar celestial body, which has accompanied us through the millennia, will soon be gone. The loss of Betelgeuse will remind us that the universe is also in constant flux and that even the seemingly eternal stars are subject to a cycle of birth, life, and death. Betelgeuse's impending supernova is not just a dramatic event in itself. It is also an opportunity for astronomers to learn more about the life cycles of massive stars and the broader cosmic processes at play. The study of supernovae like Betelgeuse provides valuable insights into the synthesis of heavy elements and the dynamics of stellar explosions. These explosions are crucial for distributing elements such as iron, nickel, and other heavy metals throughout the universe, enriching the interstellar medium from which new stars and planetary systems form. During a supernova event, the core of the exploding star undergoes rapid and intense nuclear reactions producing a variety of elements that are dispersed into space. This material, rich in newly formed elements, then contributes to the creation of new stars and planets, continuing the cosmic cycle of matter. The supernova remnants, often seen as nebulae, can be incredibly complex and beautiful, showcasing intricate structures formed by the shock waves of the explosion interacting with surrounding gas and dust. The study of these remnants also helps in understanding the different types of supernovae. For example, type 2 supernovae, which Betelgeuse will likely be, occur when massive stars reach the end of their life cycles and have exhausted their nuclear fuel. In contrast, type IA supernovae result from the thermonuclear explosion of a white dwarf star in a binary system. Each type of supernova has unique characteristics and contributes differently to the cosmic landscape. In the aftermath of Betelgeuse's explosion, the ejected material will form a supernova remnant. This remnant will evolve over time, transitioning through phases where it is visible in various wavelengths of light. Initially, it may be observed in the optical spectrum, but as it cools and interacts with the surrounding medium, its emission might shift to infrared and radio wavelengths. Observing these changes helps scientists understand the physical processes driving the evolution of supernova remnants. Another significant aspect of Betelgeuse's explosion is its potential impact on the surrounding interstellar environment. The shock waves from the explosion can trigger the formation of new stars by compressing nearby molecular clouds. This process, known as triggered star formation, is a vital mechanism through which new stellar systems are born. As a result, Betelgeuse's supernova could influence the star formation activity in its local region of the galaxy. In addition to their role in star formation, supernovae are also important for understanding cosmic distances. The brightness of a supernova can be used as a standard candle to measure astronomical distances. By comparing the observed brightness of a supernova to its known intrinsic luminosity, astronomers can calculate how far away the explosion occurred. This method has been instrumental in measuring the expansion rate of the universe and in studying the properties of dark energy. Betelgeuse's supernova will also provide a unique opportunity to study the neutrino emissions associated with such events. Neutrinos are nearly massless, highly penetrating particles that are produced in vast numbers during a supernova explosion. Observatories designed to detect neutrinos, such as the Super Cameo Candy in Japan or the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory in Antarctica, will be crucial in capturing these elusive particles. Analyzing neutrinos from Betelgeuse could offer insights into the processes occurring in the core of a dying star and improve our understanding of fundamental physics. The potential for Betelgeuse's explosion to occur at any moment has spurred a great deal of excitement and preparation within the astronomical community. Researchers are developing new techniques and improving existing technologies to ensure they are ready to capture every detail of the event.
This includes enhancing ground-based and space-based telescopes, as well as preparing for coordinated observational campaigns to study the supernova across multiple wavelengths. Moreover, Betelgeuse's explosion could also serve as a natural laboratory for testing theoretical models of stellar evolution and supernova dynamics. By comparing observations with theoretical predictions, scientists can refine their models and improve our understanding of how massive stars evolve and die. This knowledge not only helps in studying individual stars like Betelgeuse, but also contributes to the broader field of astrophysics, providing insights into the life cycles of stars across the universe. As we await the moment when Betelgeuse finally goes supernova, the anticipation itself drives scientific curiosity and innovation. The explosion will be a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the cosmos, offering a profound reminder of the processes that shape our universe. The eventual event will not only capture the imagination of astronomers and the public alike, but also provide invaluable data that will be analyzed for years to come.